Hello, good afternoon. Welcome you all to this uh, webinar session on unlocking the new potential for simulation with the 2022 release of Simulia. Uh, folks, if you have any questions, please write to us on the chat window or chat box so that we will take it up in, at the end of this uh, webinar session. And uh, I once again uh, welcome you all for this uh, webinar session. So these are all the contents that we are uh, going through today in the in today's uh, session, uh, which includes Abacus Unified FEA updates 2022, ICE8, FECF, and TOSCA 2022 updates. Uh, you might have uh, started using the uh, earlier versions in Abacus, where in which we have the material property as a function of a particular material point information. So there are certain features like um, uh, uh, where we have to use the material property as a function of, of field variable, okay? Uh, that we used to do, and uh, in the previous versions of 2021 general availability pack and before to that, and also uh, anything which is related to the subroutines with respect to USD FLD. So are now part of 2021 FD004 and 2022. This is part of this uh, abacus so that you can enter the keyword editions of those in the keywords so as to avoid the uh, usage of those uh, components. So the plastic dependencies of, uh, uh, here you have the example, which says about the, uh, load uh, loady parameter where in this loady parameter you have the compression and the tension data which are filled in uh, with respect to the positive and negative signs uh, in the keyword edition which uh, replicates about the tension and compression of the values on any particular un uniaxial response on a single element component is depicted on the right hand side in the graphical uh, format graph format so this is one plus point of 2021 fd that is a hotfix uh, 4 and above and 2022 uh, similarly, if you are uh, uh, using material calibration in terms of using uh, hyperelastic materials, you might have used Monirevlin, Ogden, Morlow, and different methods. But here you have one particular method called Valenis Landel uh, hyperelastic model, which helps us uh, in uh, unleashing the uh, information with, with respect to the tension and compression data in one go, like uh, unlike uh, Marlowe method, which allows uh, either tensile or a compressive data, but here you can avail both tensile and compressive data in a uh, specified manner. So if we have to, like you can see that in, in near incom nearly incompressible and incompressible formulations are supported, even with the compression, compressible uh, formulation is also supported. And the keyword edition is looks, which looks like a uh, hyperelastic uh, Vanellis Landel and um, uh, you have uniaxial test data and volumetric test data. This is available from 2022, H, uh, that is FD01. So here you have Vandalis, uh, uh, Vandalis and Landel response, wherein which you have the components of uh, material test data in terms of uniaxial tension and compression, which are matching. The dots here, red dot represents the test data for both tensile and compression, as well as the line, black line, which represents the uh, uh, real uh, uh, compression and uh, tension data. So if you have uh, seen this Marlowe model matches uniaxial tension or compression, any one of the uh, data and that to have a separate uh, values, both cannot be included in the same graph. Uh, unlike we have this new option called valenlis landel option. So in case if you, have, if you find anything where you have compression and tension uh, in the same component, please go ahead and use this Vandalis and uh, Landel uh, data. Similarly, uh, anisotropic pressure dependent plasticity, which is actually the part of uh, Abacus from a long time, both in uh, standard and uh, uh, explicit, uh, like how we have Drucker Prager and hill plasticity and uh, uh, crushable foam and hill plasticity and so on, which helps us in improving uh, the 
particular uh, flexibility of uh, calibration of uh, multi-scale materials like uh, using layered composites material structure and also in addition enhancements in explicit to improve the calculation of stable time increment based on the material effective moduli. So it was not a part of that, but now it is a part like where you have explicit uh, component and to improve the calculations of a stable time increment. That is also part of the new 2022 updates. Similarly, no temp uh, tension and compression elasticity, like where in which it was earlier part of only standard, now it has been extended to explicit analysis also with a stable format. So you can use no tension, no compression elasticity model uh, in explicit also, which allows modeling of cable and membrane structures with no compression stiffness. In case if it is, there is no uh, uh, compression st uh, structure, uh, we, uh, we can use uh, to have the most uh, compression uh, stiffness uh, information and you have the uh, keyword addition which uh, similarly looks like this no compression and damping and beta is equal to beta so you can find a very minimum or no or negligible amount of uh, uh, information uh, in, in terms of differences between them stresses in terms and uh, uh, average stresses from both the sides Similarly, uh, damage, uh, concrete damage plasticity and beams with beams is also one of the part. Uh, what happened is in recent uh, uh, past where there is a popularity in terms of request for 1D component uh, and also usage of uh, beams, wherein which uh, you have enough uh, uh, experience in terms of uh, uh, analyzing a building survival, earthquake uh, engineering. So in these cases, uh, the damage, uh, like in terms of using st uh, standard and explicit. So the concrete damage plasticity model in Abacus provides a general capability for modeling the concrete and other quasi-static or quasi-brittle materials under the monotonic and cyclic and uh, dynamic loading conditions for low configuring uh, pressure. So this is one of the uh, addition to that particular uh, analysis fold. Similarly, if you are using plasticity correction, especially for Neuber approximation method and Glinka correction methods, wherein which if you have, if you are using Abacus for on, with only the linear structural uh, linear uh, material properties, and you don't consider any nonlinearity in terms of uh, uh, material nonlinearity or hyperelastic material nonlinearity. Uh, especially the material nonlinearity in terms of plasticity. So in that case, we need to have uh, to use Neuber approximation method uh, uh, while doing in um, FE safe. Usually the FE safe, uh, those who are working on FE safe will be uh, looking into this. So that feature has been enabled in Abacus also, where in which to have no effect of on the solution output ply uh, only, and also must be used with isotropic elastic material properties. So where in which you have the energy, uh, strain energy curve area under the particular triangle in terms of stresses and strain uh, uh, values. And uh, using this uh, Glinka R uh, numerical um, uh, Neuber approximation method, which will enhance to use those areas like uh, under the green color, where in which you can absorb the uh, triangular area which is equal to the elasticity calculated strain energy density and in terms of Glinka again it is the elastoplastic strain energy density which can be captured and can can, can be used uh, or continued to use in the analysis process. So this uh, which was part of uh, FE safe is now part of um, Abacus 2022 uh, FD01. So you can make utilize of this particular feature in case if you are working on a uh, approximation methods. Similarly, uh, while uh, viewing the results, uh, you have stresses, one my stresses, you have Neuber approximation value and the Glinka value. So you can see that uh, how uh, the difference uh, are with respect to elastoplastic and linear elastic material properties. And you can uh, use this for comparison purpose and um, further utilize for finding the best solution for the applications. Uh, apart from that, Yield stress extrapolation is one of the uh, important uh, feature that has been added here. Within this option is available for isotropic hardening specific in the tabular uh, form. 
and also the constant extrapolation is still used uh, with respect to other independent variables like uh, temperature and other field variables can be utilized so here uh, extrapolation from with respect to certain constant values can be taken into consideration while uh, using this a local plasticity curve will grow and sometimes suppose difficulties in convergence so in that case like we can make it as a like only global responses maybe uh, the focus uh, focal point of our analysis in that uh, case we can omit that uh, localized behavior by using this uh, uh, and we have a, a check box so that we need to check that or turn on to turn on this particular application so this is one of the other extrapolation with respect to yield stresses are available similarly the values here you can see that uh, uh, yield stress and uh, equivalent plastic strain values and uh, as you see that graph there is a constant overlap of the both extrapolation and the linear value and uh, a point where you have uh, um, uh, where you have standalones then you can see the changes uh, with respect to the linear extrapolation and the constant uh, extrapolation so uh, this is one plus uh, uh, a point in uh, abacus uh, recently coming to the result mapping for shell elements in 2021 and 2022 both for explicit and implicit uh, you can check like uh, through thickness mapping for homogeneous shell uh, like support mapping of uh, displacement, orientation, stress, plastic strain, etc. And data are imported through initial conditions and distributions with the sub options. Uh, through thickness uh, mapping for composite shells is available now. And integration rule points uh, can be different between the source and the target point. So you can see that uh, there, are, uh, there is a change in the uh, mesh, uh, mesh size. Uh, when you can see from the source and the target, but still it has uh, able to map to the uh, target uh, uh, location where you have the different uh, uh, mesh. So this is available from 2021 uh, FD08 uh, and um, uh, now 2021 uh, latest updates. Uh, you can make utilize of these uh, sub options. And those who are working on uh, particle technologies like uh, we have uh, SPH method or uh, we have uh, a differential equation method or um, LKM method where in which uh, uh, it was available earlier uh, but there is some enhancement uh, in this application where in which unified tracking of the particle is possible and robust parallel uh, uh, provisions are available in this ultimately improved performance uh, that we can see the performance improvement is of greater than of 20 per 20 percent and odd is uh, uh, seen here um, general robustness and uh, performance enhancements are also part which uh, which also improved in the multi-step and restart analysis so these are all some of the additional points in the existing sph model that we have in the previous versions has been uh, now utilized for further enhancements so coming to the contact there are some further enhancements happened here uh, especially in terms of using the um, general contact like usually when you are doing a snap fit snap through analysis uh, edge will be uh, in in contact with between the uh, both uh, the master and the slave components if you are using uh, surface a and surface b so that then we used to use a contact uh, feature edge and uh, feature edge option for that so here in abacus explicit uh, now uh, automatically chooses the edges to consider for contact uh, which edges need to be con uh, considered so that in explicit again now it is been automatically considered which uh, which uh, helps us in improved accuracy and ease of use uh, with small that is up to 10 percent of additional computational time and also developed enhancements in recent releases now ready for to be active by default so by default we can utilize this solution uh, especially as i was mentioning in 2022 10 percent or more than that uh, approximately threshold uh, we can use the small additional computational time uh, and also prior default like only uh, perimeter edges and beam references edges considered for contact but now we can choose the edges like feature edges uh, can also be used 
and there was there used to be uh, a mere con like a concentration on penetration occurrence uh, between the nodal locations but with uh, this uh, because of the missing of the contact as the the uh, insertion of uh, the two uh, clips in the clip example uh, used to happen but now uh, that won't uh, be there it has been resolved and now it has been made a, a new default so that is one of the plus points that uh, we would like to highlight here and you have two examples here wherein which you have the deformation of a sandwich plate under convex blast loading um, uh, extra uh, uh, convex method that is uh, uh, conventional weapon method for about uh, 1 kg uh, of the uh, tnt and the blast is happening at that location where uh, you have uh, uh, been selected like uh, it these are all the ribs with uh, 1d so it is having a feature edge and that edge has been uh, automatically considered during this particular analysis and close up view of a crumbling region wherein if you are using in uh, this particular location uh, look like how it is uh, going to crumble and uh, here the elements the edges are accepted default similarly the dynamic allocation of general contact like uh, previous prior to uh, other versions large static allocations of inter internal uh, contact elements and nodes so now it is significant performance in terms of drag is there so in 2022 general availability so we have dynamic allocations of internal contact elements and nodes so this is one uh, addition uh, error message occasionally issued in the, if the static allocations was insufficient so now it is uh, a result and uh, uh, there are some 2022 updates uh, which helps us uh, to uh, look into the performance of improvement uh, which is in the range of 10 to 20 percent um, in the latest edition of 2022 which you can make uh, utilization of and also the performance improvements of for a sample of model across industries shown in the chart these are all the uh, uh, across the industries in terms of um, uh, pipe uh, cramp to bushing uh, in terms of automotive as well as uh, in terms of uh, electric or uh, uh, electric uh, resources or clip insertion in terms of uh, 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 especially the manufacturing of the clips uh, and uh, plugs and also the connectors so in this we have a clamp manufacturing or pipe uh, coupling so in this different applications where you are just coming into picture and dynamism will be there when we are connecting two male and female components so here you have the in general contact uh, there is a much better performance in terms of improvement uh, in is is uh, is clearly seen uh, next is uh, we have uh, the step dependent interaction for general contact so you have two one is forming and after spring back analysis uh, so which allows user to suspend certain interactions for certain steps uh, which is a plus point here which uh, like similar to pre-existing model changing capabilities for contact pair but uses differently in uh, different tech keywords so uh, here we can use this contact pair or general contact in general contact also the contact pair facilities uh, in terms of uh, interactions are provided which can be made utilization especially in the forming analysis where once the loads have been taken off uh, in terms of um, uh, additional mass and uh, inertial forces uh, then we can see that uh, spring back action is happening uh, after the uh, removal of the load. So this uh, again, uh, which uses the contact pair facilities that can be now utilized in general contact. So there is another one which with respect to the uh, cross section. Uh, earlier, the cross section was only for uh, understanding the behavior of the physics. But now either in the 1D format, uh, like in the beam, which is shown replicated on the left hand side, and also the animation from the same on the right hand side where the simulation of octahedral uh, faces where uh, due to the change in contact we can visualize that uh, the contact changes from face to face uh, is also been represented uh, from beams uh, profile um, representation is done so we can utilize this uh, uh, with respect to non circular cross sections so this is one additional uh, component that is being used in 20 uh, introduced in 2022 so with, this was related to abacus uh, 
uh, solvers in terms of contact and uh, some material uh, contact facilities. Uh, uh, facilities. So we have some in Abacus uh, CAE that is for pre and post processing, uh, especially in terms of materials in bilamina uh, elasticity, especially in terms of um, uh, el uh, composite materials. In case if we need to use the laminas and bilamina type of application, and we need to give the uh, provide the material uh, capabilities, both in terms of uh, um, you have that in GUI, that facility has been enhanced, and even with respect to the input file format in material wise can be depicted, and as well as a scripting uh, snippet. So you have this uh, a particular script that which can be utilized in the uh, Python scripting. So that facility is also available. We can make use of this. Uh, next, this is a significant. I think most of you are using Abacus uh, GUI uh, in terms of uh, job module to submit the job and monitor the job. Uh, here is the uh, available uh, latest features which includes a DSLS SIM unit licensing, uh, which is uh, now the upgraded latest version of uh, some tokens, which will be enhanced both on the uh, 3D experience platform as well as uh, a unified uh, token systems, like how we have the extended tokens, the same set of tokens being used for Avakas, ICA, Deficif, and Tosca. Similarly, this um, SIM units will, can, be also, can also be used both on both on uh, 3D experience as well as standalone uh, 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 extended tokens uh, facility, which also represents the FlexNet and DSLS uh, uh, that can be enabled and looked in. And also in case if you are looking for anything on MPI thread based, we can utilize the thread, uh, make utilization of the threads in order to speed up the analysis and uh, efficient use, utilization of the licenses. So that can be done. Uh, hybrid execution model job control thread per MPI process is also available. Uh, if you are in case of uh, writing a script, you can copy and paste this particular thread. Num threads per MPI process is equal to, and that uh, uh, will activate with, with respect to number of threads within the uh, processes that we have can be utilized. And in case if you are using uh, Tosca and you have optimization enhancements here, which uh, supports uh, like milling geometric uh, restrictions for topology and optimization, which includes like a support uh, check node group, a group of uh, nodes that need to be selected and utilized for member size uh, geometry restriction in shape optimization. Anything on shape optimization, we can better make utilize of, uh, utilization of this and uh, we can further use this in the milling direction. So that is one plus point uh, addition features added in 2022. And similarly in visualization of 2022 enhancements, uh, which helps us in improved uh, linked viewport usability with respect to rearranging the options in linking viewports, as well as add subtract of uh, unselected uh, buttons that uh, we can do. Uh, like uh, it is a, holistic approach in order to select what we require in the output to visualize the screen has been depicted here and also which allows applications of operations of xy data that means for plotting the xy data along with uh, the field output uh, parameters that can be taken and also like similar to saving xy data from uh, history output like both for both history output as well as uh, uh, for field output that we can uh, utilize this and field output reports like optionally includes the local uh, cross-sectional uh, 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 coordinate systems for material orientation which is now part of visualization can also be utilized uh, similarly uh, the beam rendering feature which was available now can be utilized for undeformed deformed and contour plots uh, to check the states uh, uh, in terms uh, is one of the additional uh, feature uh, that has been added and uh, improved from the previous uh, version. Uh, similarly, uh, like we have a, a previous enhancement done in some post and pre-processors 
and uh, especially here the coordinate systems with respect to the nodal set or distances from standard and advanced on element facial no normal can also be considered uh, like related to this uh, coordinate systems with respect to global or with respect to the local in terms of visualizing the results is now enabled and we can unleash that uh, uh, available feature and also results are is shown in the local coordinate system similar how to the uh, particular global coordinate systems so this was uh, updates uh, uh, that i wanted to discuss with you with respect to uh, abacus uh, abacus and uh, standard and cae explicit uh, now we have uh, uh, related to the eyesight uh, let us uh, let me take uh, through uh, uh, take you through into this particular uh, process uh, where in which uh, we have eyesight uh, parameters so here you have uh, I'll, I'll just give you a heads up on uh, the process here. Uh, as you know, the extended package, which includes uh, uh, Abacus, iSight, FeSafe, and Tosca. Uh, Abacus is uh, a tool for doing the simulations in terms of standard and explicit multi-physics, thermal, vibrations, and acoustics. These are all different types of analysis that we can do apart from the electromagnetic applications to mere applications are available. Similarly, iSight is a, a parametric optimization tool which uh, enables us to utilize the uh, do the DOE that is design of engineering uh, parametric uh, studies apart from optimization study where we have the objective functions, design variables and uh, co uh, constant co constraints. And similarly, we have TOSCA that is non-parametric optimization in terms of material uh, removal that is topology and topography. In topography, again, we have uh, in terms of um, uh, bead optimization, shape optimization and uh, uh, surface that is shell optimization processes are available. And again, FESAFE is durability and uh, life prediction process. Uh, uh, with respect to understanding the life of the component when it is subjected to uh, variable loading or constant amplitude loading uh, over a period of time and uh, uh, find out the uh, uh, particular location at which the crack initiates uh, over a period of uh, time when the load is constantly or variable loading is being applied. Uh, this is what uh, uh, we can do with respect to the extended tokens, which is represented uh, by QAX and QXTs uh, with uh, um, number, number of different uh, tokens available in QXTs, the same solution, uh, solver solutions. Again, uh, the uh, different uh, capabilities will uh, unleash uh, uh, in this uh, particular analysis. Similarly, like how we have to have seven tokens for FE safe and uh, uh, two plus or three plus tokens for eyesight and uh, from eight tokens to 13 tokens for uh, non-parametric optimization that is tosca and abacus you can scale like from five tokens till uh, 13 tokens and based on the uh, proportionate amount of uh, uh, cores or the hardware that is uh, fcpus that is that we have that is available here in eyesight we have some uh, updates uh, with respect to worldwide uh, GA that is general availability that was uh, uh, released in 2021 November 20th and in uh, FD1 that is uh, fix pack uh, uh, O1 is available from 5th February 2022. So there are certain algorithms which have been uh, enhanced here like for example Sobel sequence factor which was uh, there from 2021 and it has been further enhanced in 2022, uh, which is one of the DOE technique that can be utilized by the users, uh, which is much more and uh, has more capability and more realistic in nature when compared to the uh, other uh, facilities that we have in DOE. Uh, this is one of the upgrades that we have. And similarly, component upgrades uh, like Abacus component has been upgraded here. And middleware upgrades like uh, Tommy upgrade, uh, Tom EE uh, shipped with eyesight, and as well as 
SQL database uh, is been upgraded now and also business model uh, in terms of unit uh, sim unit tokens uh, and the credits are also available so with the new uh, sobol sequence uh, which is a uh, doe technique uh, with respect to like latin hypercube or uh, uh, optimal latin hypercube uh, here you can have n different uh, uh, varieties i mean to say that um, uh, uh, in terms of multiple nodes, n different nodes that you can n dimensional space, you can utilize this uh, uh, Sobol sequence uh, along with the expression that you can use. What happens in Latin hypercube or optimal Latin hypercube, you have a well fixed amount of uh, parameters that you need to select and uh, those uh, repeated applications need to be done. But here you can write an expression in terms and enhance that particular uh, Sobol sequence like how you have a, a DOE study and you feel that A is greater than B in any one of the expressions you can write the expression uh, we have the filter here and you can filter and write the expression so that DOE component which allows user to filter design matrix based on a filter expression points that satisfy the filter expressions are rejected and this is merely post processor of uh, generating the design matrix and hence you can you would generally get uh, fewer design uh, points than the requested so there is always possibility that uh, when you request some points only based on the uh, number of uh, theorem or the back uh, that is math mathematics and formula in the back end which will do the regression analysis and give only the few points which may not include the point that which we are uh, concentrating on so that's the reason why this sobol is more specific in terms we can represent in terms of writing an expression and we can include those points which are required and by giving certain parameters in certain conditions so this is one plus point of uh, in updates so that we have in 2022 which can be uh, made utilized so here you have the expression of a greater than b and you can see that uh, the two uh, the number of points in the polynomial like n uh, different uh, scape uh, number of points in the landscape is being represented and if it is a square plus b square less than 100 you have different format and you can make utilization of those form those points which were not able to select in a greater than b option and also you have another expression that you can mention b is greater than a square so you have a, a specific format of this uh, uh, points that you can easily capture this and utilize this in the uh, analysis especially in terms of where you have a um, um, mirror image of uh, the uh, product that you want to see the expression in terms of mirror, um, mirror image is one uh, such point that we can take care so these are all some of the additional points and coming to the abacus upgrades here uh, the components created a direct link with respect to Abacus, which allowing the automated execution of Abacus from iSight. And uh, you have uh, 2022 uh, Abacus components is enhanced to support uh, both like Abacus 6.14 through Abacus 2022. All the version from 6.14 to 2022 are available and maintenance releases thereafter. Like uh, from thereafter, whichever the maintenance and the releases are there are all uh, allowed now which are enhanced uh, to consider uh, okay this is one plus point from the Lucas point of view and uh, this is mainly the Apache Tommy uh, double E format and now that is also been upgraded from 1.7.2 to 8.05 the latest one and uh, which also can be like automatically available in SE format web top and uh, web desktop applications running on Tommy and uh, similarly as i was mentioning sql method like sql server database is being upgraded to microsoft sql uh, server and also the oracle and um, microsoft uh, releases now are not uh, supported so please uh, make sure because in 2022 uh, again whichever the server 2019 and upgrades were there have been taken care like in terms of uh, database but oracle and uh, microsoft sql are uh, in, in terms are not supported in this one please uh, upgrade to the latest one for to uh, to avail these uh, uh, features 
coming to ketia v5 as we was mentioning we were mentioning ketia v5 is again the uh, direct link uh, with respect to eyesight and uh, there are some um, uh, latest releases are enhanced and earlier releases of ketia apart from whatever it is displayed r30 r31 r32 are as of now not enhanced so in case if you are moving ahead with the uh, uh, latest releases of ketia please see that uh, uh, eyesight uh, users also should uh, uh, have the latest uh, version of 2022 in order to uh, utilize this uh, features so this is uh, again again coming to the solidworks components again uh, we have this option and it now it has enhanced from 2017 onwards in case if you are working on 2016 or below or if you have already um, uh, migrated to latest versions of solidworks better to use uh, uh, abacus 2022 uh, in order to like uh, for both uh, maintenance uh, release and thereafter similarly in case if you are enhancing the adams uh, use uh, like msc adams if it is being used then you can continue to use this uh, enhanced uh, msc adams 2010 2011 2019.2 and 2021.2 and any other releases apart from this are not allowed so you please uh, check and uh, utilize this particular classic style interface yeah these are all uh, some of the features of uh, uh, fes uh, that is eyesight and coming to FE safe there are tremendous uh, improvement in terms of uh, FE safe on 3d experience and there are uh, certain enhancements on FE safe 2022 standalone also uh, which are like uh, as uh, shown here like unified structural and fatigue licensing uh, where it, both on 3d experience and FE safe are now have been enhanced to uh, better utilize uh, these features and also which includes core uh, count dependent tokens and credit licensing so as i was mentioning about the sim token sim unit tokens similar to extended tokens in case if you want to utilize this on 3d experience as well as on standalone so this is the one feature that we have that is uh, sim units better you can uh, utilize that uh, feature migrating to 3d experience and once you said uh, you have been migrated to 3d experience you can definitely make utilize uh, fe safe uh, uh, from standalone extended uh, token facilities also by using this and uh, this is a, a business uh, process going forward uh, instead of uh, procuring multiple tokens multiple uh, softwares guis uh, this is a unified system uh, which helps in uh, uh, business enhancements so one solution one stop solution for you have to have the abacus uh, i say safe tosca and uh, both on uh, on uh, standalone as well as uh, on premises and on cloud on 3d experience so in case if you want to have on uh, cloud credit card credit uh, uh, tokens or credit uh, uh, licensing you have that option uh, like how you have uh, uh, on demand solutions are required for a period of some 10 days or 12 days or 15 days and you need to uh, utilize the tokens or credits so you have this facilities of uh, using this so you can migrate to 3d experience or with standalone with sim units that is also possible and coming to simul uh, ansys rst support updates like which includes the support for ansys workbench and named selections also so that is one features that we have and uh, SL, that is uh, uh, SUSMIL and LASER infinite life method, previously only available for uh, uh, theory of uh, critical distance method. So now it is being uh, uh, available for uh, uh, sequential uh, type of analysis uh, also in order to uh, find out the critical distance method or um, the method like infinite life method uh, to find out uh, how long the particular component will sustain over a period of time and when it undergoes a different loading condition which includes variable loading or a constant amplitude loading so that is one uh, addition points and uh, coming to surface finish uh, surface finish properties now has been enhanced to include more surface finish properties uh, which actually one of the major cause uh, uh, because of the repeated application because of the rubbing and uh, friction so there is the 
uh, what do you call the nucleation creates on the surface of the components and thus the uh, failure begins at that location where uh, the component will uh, uh, come down heavily or uh, will reduce its operational load taking uh, capability over a period of time due to the repeated application of the load and erosion of the uh, surface good, good surface finish on the component so which uh, uh, definitely leads to the catastrophic failure of the component over a period of time and uh, that includes the uh, crack initiation and propagation and the rupture which the crack initiation can be captured within a back uh, within fe safe and uh, propagation can be done in xfm uh, within a backers so and apart from that you have a cloud-based uh, durability execution programs as i was mentioning uh, in 3d experience we have different roles and those roles are now enhanced in terms of what we have in standalone in terms of variety variety for uh, weldment analysis the life prediction for weldment both the uh, seam and spot weld uh, analysis now is available on 3d experience also uh, you can unleash this uh, uh, capabilities on 3d experience once you migrate uh, once you get under amnesty program and uh, you can migrate that further so and also the previous uh, durability had to be solved locally now you can do that uh, on cloud uh, that is one facility that uh, you, you have and compressive mean stress corrections for variety line welds that is 2022 fdo1 and spot weld fatigue theory enhanced for complex loading so even that spot weld fatigue theory is also been enhanced and corrections to the calculations for several algorithms which includes brown miller a calculation several algorithm calculations and corrections have been made upgradations have been made in 2022 which can be made utilized similarly we have a tosca structure which is part of extended tokens and uh, here we have the capability to uh, do the uh, analysis in terms of um, uh, topology and topography where the material reduction and enhance the component for the stiffness so it is a complete process where in which the loads and boundary conditions are applied and in the frozen area and there will be a design space within which the material can be removed but even after removal of the material the operational load carrying capacity of the component remains uh, well in sustainable mode so that uh, the loads can be sustained and uh, even the life of the component will be in the uh, better condition as well as the stiffness of the component also will improve uh, with respect to the stiffness provided and at the weakest points where it is required and at the uh, strong points we can remove the material so that uh, material removal and yield improvement of the uh, component and this profit to the component uh, company will be there in uh, succession so here uh, nowadays uh, not only with the cad not only with the uh, uh, abacus eyesight uh, and uh, durability of the component uh, that is fem cae uh, as well as uh, uh, durability of the component now the customers are uh, equally uh, giving more importance to the material saving process that is uh, topology process uh, uh, with the uh, uh, availability of the material they can uh, increase the yield of the component this uh, can be cost can be reduced reduced and uh, profit can be increased so you have four, four options within one is the, the structure that is topology uh, topo structure and second is uh, tosca uh, structure topology tosca structure sizing tosca structure shape and uh, bead optimization processes so tosca structure is where you can see that uh, component that is being uh, light weighted the minimum the minimum weight uh, threshold has been reached by removing the extra material but parallelly the stiffness are provided so as to uh, hold the operational loading condition is the main agenda here and uh, which uh, well in advance increases the stiffness of the component and also the eigen frequency again uh, uh, of the component also like intact so here you have on the sizing you have on all the 2d components like uh, you have the sheet metal components and you have the biws so where the sheet thickness can be reduced uh, in a very lighter manner so as to improve the stiffness of the component and also the eigenfrequency of the component will be 
improved and similarly shape optimization which is mainly done on topology parts a 3d part where the stress concentration and the shape of the component uh, can be uh, rendered in a much design way so that uh, the components uh, durability of the component will be uh, for a long time and also the life prediction of the component will be uh, in the infinite or much larger way so as to reduce uh, the stress concentration or sharp edges where, where the stresses increases automatically and thus uh, reduces the uh, design uh, uh, errors in order to like have a better design of the component and also the bead structure especially this bead structures will help us in um, uh, providing the stiffness to the component with the self material instead of bringing the extra material either extra weight increases or the space in the manufacturing process the spaces may not be there in order to add the extra uh, ribs or uh, stiffness so in that case uh, the in the parental component itself some ribs are carved out carved out so as to uh, have enhanced uh, uh, stiffness of the component uh, is what uh, one of the uh, reason why the tosco tosca bead option is being used so why uh, non linearity non uh, why tosca structure why not other how we are uh, uh, stand unique when compared to other uh, 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 options that we have in the market so you can see this non linear abacus is the one particular uh, option in any of the component uh, we usually uh, do the sensitivity in terms of linearization but uh, having said uh, there will be compression at the neck region here and uh, we try to consider as a linearization and do the analysis but in actual sense it is not so because non linearity need to be considered and uh, in one case if it is a uh, tension and then you can see the compressive compressive loads also or else when you have compressive load there will be tensile tensile load also being applied on this so need to be taken care of that sensitivity portion so and hence uh, abacus is a uh, uh, tosca is the one uh, software which can definitely provide the non linearity uh, into consideration you can see that buckling of the component when there is a um, compression is happening can be seen and when the tension is uh, taking place uh, so you have the longevity longevity of this particular component over a period of time without any uh, buckling taking place both these options are available in tosca similarly when it comes to you can see the evolution of the tosca software from 2017 till 2022 Uh, advanced simulation uh, properties where you have the static and frequency supported uh, in uh, the earlier one and then in uh, second one we have the plastic strain material for a plastic strain magnitude supported and in the third one we have plastic strains in material for topology and optimization and improved handling of large groups of design responses in 3 and 4 that is from previous and in now in uh, 2022 advanced simulation we can use this program for design responses we can use for glinka and neuber correction factors as it is no part of abacus also as discussed in our previous uh, slides and also the principal strains and sign one mesis uh, stresses earlier it was one mesis now it is uh, principal stresses are also being uh, used and the user responses has also been considered into this for uh, stresses and plastic strain tensor that uh, information also can be taken into this however we have a non linear a facility in this particular feature and uh, what's new in this is like a unified interpolation scheme for topology optimization rib design manufacturing in uh, constraints manufacturing constraints for topology so the constraints can be considered for all manufacturing uh, facilities that we have and improved maximum member constraints of topology uh, the constraints can be increased to maximum members that facility is there manufacturing constraints for bead optimization is now in usability former format that we will see in the future slides and also advanced features like ability to support a user design responses of material based types you can go with uh, multiple different materials uh, that is possible for plasticity and stress based uh, responses are now available 
and tosca res, uh, resume capabilities so we can respond and resume that particular tosca analysis which is going on is the one particular feature that we can which has been added here you have a unified material interpolation uh, where uh, you have a, a minimum of the volume with the displacement constraints here with respect to the material that has been taken out but with the volume with the displacement constraints and additive inter inactive uh, features constraints so where in which you have inactive feature constraints that also can be considered so here where the feature now uh, inactive feature constraints or presence of gravity loads will change the result in previous versions as different schemes are used so you can see the different uh, results now the different schemes have been used in order to facilitate to get that particular inactive frequency constraints so here in which uh, you can see a uh, lot many changes which are happened with respect to the material distribution uh, improved robust of combined stress frequency based approach is there minimum member constraints are held more strictly so that we can go and look in and gravity loads and other mass dependent loadings are supported now where you have a mass uh, included mass dependent responses can be tracked uh, without changing the results so mass dependent uh, response schemes uh, requires a new uh, filtering filtering approaches based on the design variable filtering you have a design variable filters based on these we can further utilize the filters so again we can go ahead with the uh, L blocks and uh, round table uh, component, two components are being uh, considered in this example. So, where in which you have the uh, 75 iterations, where 28.6% uh, 28 of intermediate uh, density of the material, that uh, material of, uh, can be like uh, looked upon. In both the cases, unified interpolation schemes combined with the unified filter delivers results with fewer intermediate densities. Uh, which are easier to validate and reconstruct. So this makes the topology optimization much easier to use and more reliable. So this is one plus point of using in 2022 uh, with respect to the uh, densities, intermediate uh, densities that uh, helps us in uh, providing the material for different uh, intermediate uh, locations. Similarly, uh, new max member algorithms that we have uh, wherein which uh, there were some floating material points now that has been taken out and 25% uh, stiffer improvement stiffness improvement has been done with a local volume of 10% improvement in the uh, local volume so this is the new feature unlike uh, uh, earlier uh, uh, compliance uh, floating materials are now has been considered uh, taken off and uh, new material member of local volume local volumes can be considered so coming to the rib design we had earlier uh, it was slightly difficult and now it is uh, distinctive in terms of uh, number of ribs distance between the ribs rib thickness uh, and varying thickness of the ribs so all these features can be utilized in this one where average distance and thickness and direction of the ribs can be controlled and no material accumulation and stronger restriction might reduce the achievable values so these are all some of the uh, properties uh, that has been enhanced in uh, topology optimization uh, to summarize these points we have a performance improvement in abacus that uh, reduces uh, significantly the simulation turnaround time and also uh, in Abacus, the new material models that accurately capture the behavior of the com complex engineering materials have been enhanced. And in Abacus, new uh, analysis techniques that significantly expand the scope of the simulation has uh, uh, been uh, enabled. So coming to the FECF, we have the state-of-art multi-physics, uh, multi-axial fatigue algorithm, uh, fatigue of weld uh, joints, variable uh, fatigue critical distance methods and also property mapping for casting or forging simulation is now unleashed and of course in eyesight we have the new approximation of uh, design of experiments that is sober method is now available and updation in the optimization algorithms that you can see and also the features enhancements are done uh, 
um, this is what uh, for today that we wanted to uh, discuss and uh, let us continue to like uh, work together to in order to uh, see the growth and, uh, growth from both the sites and uh, uh, create a win-win situation for both of us thanks for your time thanks for attending the webinar